Austin. Is that with an I? Yeah. How you doing, Bill? I'm good, thanks. Thanks for being on Musicians and Bars Getting Beer. Neither of us are drinking beer. Nope. It's a hot day. I finished my mini water. What are you drinking tonight? Water. Tell us about your musical history. Ever since I was a little kid, my parents were listening to stuff like Rush, ACDC, Metallica, Ozzy Osbourne, Megadeth, all that good stuff. So, um, growing up, I had a pretty solid musical influence and knew what I enjoyed. So, I guess around the time I turned six or seven, I got a drum kit. Oh, cool. Yeah, it was my grandfather's he used to play. And oh, really? Yeah, I played that for a few years. I developed solid timing, and then I went from the drum kit to my dad's bass, if I'm not mistaken. And there was a guitar in the house, too, like an acoustic, my dad's old acoustic. So, I played those for a couple of years, and then eventually... Your dad is John. Yeah, my and father's I, John, and he's yeah, in the band he's here. he's in a band tonight, Made No Six. Yeah. And... Uh, He's, in, he's been in many projects. He's been on the show before. Yeah. And since he was on the show, we were in the Queen Street West alleys. And uh, I said, well, I should get your son on, too. And how old are you now? <laughs> now, I'm 32. You're 32. So yeah. at the time, might have been five or ten years ago. Almost. Oh, easily. Actually, believe it or not, ten years ago is about right. I think I started Infinity with Stephen Judges and Andre. Or Tyler Thornhill was the first drummer, but he only stayed for the first or second gig, and he was a really good guy. But anyway, uh, 2013 sounds about right. We were getting cool. together for a battle of the bands oh, yeah. at uh, what's it called, the Lion and the Firkin in oh, Newmarket. Yeah. Really funny place to play because all the sound goes up to the roof. It's like this huge sound cone, so it's crazy to try to get your levels. But it was fun. We had a great time, and we started to figure that we wanted to do it. So it lasted for pretty much seven years after that six seven years we played traveled all over ontario and it was a great time we went we actually had andre leave for a while and we had um uh, the, the brother duo uh jesse and quinn smith from oshawa they were in the band for a while and it was wicked but the problem was they had other commitments so we had to go back to andre for a bit and here we are we ended up falling apart man but it was a great oh, time that's tough yeah so when did that uh Dissolve? Around 2018, I would okay, say, so five the years beginning of, of the year. Yeah, that's pretty cool. And, and tell us about that band, like what uh, genre-wise and influences. Basically, it was groove metal. Yeah. So if you take Megadeth, Metallica, Slayer, and maybe some Lamb of God, and you throw it in a blender, that's kind of <laughs> what you got, right? So it was cool. pretty cool, I, I would say. Yeah, it was fun. And so you're still interested in getting another project? Absolutely. All right, right so now I'm... You can use this as a vehicle? I'm looking for people that are dedicated in the kind of music I like, which is Lamb of God meets Megadeth meets Pantera meets Metallica, that kind of sound. Throw it into that blender, and that's what you get when I'm trying to create these original songs. I'm looking for people that want to do this for the rest of their life, and cool. people that want to really put their heart and soul into this. It's awesome. people that I can become family with. Wow. So, yeah. I, I would apply if I was <laughs> half my age. <laughs> All I know is I appreciate the opportunity to voice what oh, I want no out trouble. there. So. Hey man, yeah. that's what this is about. And you know, if you can catch people before they get famous. Exactly. They might remember you. I appreciate so, it. Hey, me too. So, uh, okay, so tell us about, uh, you, you started playing young. Yep. You got this, you had this band going, Infinity. Yep. So why don't you tell us about some of your favorite places that you played then? Okay. That, uh... what, well, I think my favorite place to play was the Rockpile East because we opened for Anvil and we had our oh, biggest nice. crowd. It was wicked, yeah. Another good one was in Mississauga, I think it was. I can't remember the name of the venue, but it was a nice, nice experience. Um, if I'm not mistaken, we played quite a few small venues throughout Toronto that yeah. we packed and it was just because people came in from outside Cherry yeah oh, cherries yeah. was a little bit Bovine. cherries was a little bit stale but we had yeah, some good times hard. yeah it was fun to play cherry colas though oh, that's a bike making yeah. <laughs> name that too right <laughs> Woodstock was my favorite probably overall because when we played Party on the Farm, we got to just have a blast. We had this huge, huge open field to just let loose. 
I did some shrooms. What do you mean Woodstock? Day. Well, in we Woodstock, there, yeah, we, we, there was a party on the farm uh, in Ontario. Yeah. It's an annual thing. Yeah. Big so, stage, so my bass player, sound, my bass player Ontario. Steve. Yeah, man, it's yeah. great. He but hands me like three and a half grams of mushrooms, right? Oh my gosh. And so I down him and I'm like, okay, let's fucking do this, man. He ends up getting so fucking high on mushrooms, he had to manhandle <laughs> the milk carton open in a square to get to the fucking drink. It was so funny, man. We had a blast. Sold all of our merch. Are you sure this is going to be on YouTube? <laughs> I can edit. You can edit it. Well, it's if up you to want you. to. It's your yeah. show. Yeah, I'm not worried about it. I just That's say it cool. like it is. Yeah. We had a well, blast. Hey. Start with honesty because you're looking for a band. So yeah. Start with honesty. It was fun though because that was that was the day we really hit it hard with people. They bought all the merch we had. They That's literally great. sucked it dry. Yeah. Everything gone. And do you guys play together? Not anymore. We did. We it used one to time. play. Believe it or not, we my, used to be a family band. Over here. Yeah. When when I first started playing live, I yeah. started in Old Young. Yeah, we were called Old Young. Yeah. How's that work? His godfather was the drummer. I played bass. He played guitar, and his mother was the singer. Yep. It was a fun experience. And we were called Old Young. <laughs> and we used to play stuff like Ozzy Osbourne, yeah. Crazy Train, Mr. Crowley. And and original stuff. Other stuff, a couple of original songs like Fallout and Dead Man's Hand. And it was awesome, man. It was so much fun. Yeah. The old days. Why don't you bring it back? Well, we could. It depends. Well, the problem is my godfather, we haven't been able to get a hold of him oh, in many okay. years. So yeah. hopefully he's doing well. I don't know. But yeah, here's, a, was, here's a call out, though. Right? Yeah. Dan Marlatt. Dan Marlatt, get your butt out here, man. Let us know you're alive. Fantastic drummer. Yeah. You know, the rock bio jam. <laughs> yeah. I don't think his wife lets him out anymore. That's oh, I don't wrong. know. Honest to God, I think that's what it is. That's cool. That's all right, yeah. man. She was screening my calls. Tie your mother down. <laughs> right? Tie your brother down. Yeah. It was and fun. So, uh, so you, you don't have any current plans together to do an album? What I want to do is right try now. to find either a tribute band we can play in together or make an original with tribute mix in it, you know what I mean? It'd be yeah. A lot of fun. I yeah. want to have some fun with him before he gets to that point where he can't really stand on stage anymore, you know what I mean? So <laughs> then I'll sit on stage. <laughs> That's never going to happen. Yeah, right? As long as my fingers work, I'll play. Yeah, I do want to do something. Until they though. stop working, I'll be playing. Right? Yeah. yeah. I was just hanging on uh, Thursday with my dad, 93, and his wow. brother, 95. And the waitress goes and starts flirting with the old guy. And he's joking around. A 95-year-old brother. Yeah. Oh my God. Anyway. Well, he's That's still good, 25 though. up here, right? Yeah, yeah. That's right. what matters, he's man. Still still looking at ticks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're as young as you feel. So when you win the Juno, who do you thank? Other oh, than man. Dad. I would just thank life experience for giving me what the fuel I needed to make what I needed in my music and convey the message convey the feeling convey the fucking soul you know I thank life experience and anyone and everyone that's ever taught me anything whether it be a lesson through hardships or through you know good times I'm grateful for all of it and I know that life's short so you gotta live it I like these answers Austin Stuff, man. I hope you find a band soon. Thanks, Bill. Thank right you for on. this opportunity. Yeah. Musicians in bars getting beer in front of the Linsmore having a smoke. <laughs> Cheers, guys. Cheers. Have yeah, a good man. show tonight. We'll do. I think that's how you uh, try and remember polyrhythms, too. Lever, 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 lever.